What's going on everybody? John here making a video by myself this time. Going to be getting back into a dirty 30. This time I'm going to be focusing on a jump rope circuit using the body bars as well. And I'll give you a quick sneak peek of what those look like. Here's one that I'm using. I recommend having a, maybe a medium weight, lighter weight, maybe medium weight, heavier weight, judging by you know how it feels to you. This is just an example of one and most of these exercises you could sub it out for a kettlebell or a dumbbell but today you know this is going to be a big theme of the day. thought it'd be fun. Feel free to come into the gym and try it if you've seen them around. Wondered exercises that you could do with them. Now you'll know. Now you'll have something to be able to use when you come into the gym. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on it. Like I said it's a jump rope circuit so get your jump ropes ready. Anyways, we're going to be starting here first with a warm up. So, first things first, going to get these legs loosened up, of course. We're going to do uh, basically up and out hip opener. So, feet close together on this one. Bring that leg straight up. Move it straight out just like that. Just let those hips do the work. Alternating sides. Make sure you're hitting both sides. Going back and forth. Go a little faster than me if you're comfortable. Make sure that leg is coming up at least to hip height. Maybe a little higher if you can. Just like that. Good, just a couple more of these hitting each side, opening these hips up, getting started first. Not getting that heart rate too high yet, but we're moving up there. Go ahead and relax on that one once you've done it. Now it's gonna move the arms, give the legs a break for this one. Now go ahead and stick those arms straight out. We're going to start going with these scissor swings right here. Each time I'm alternating which arm is on top, which one's on the bottom. As you can see, try to go wider and wider each time. Throw those arms back. Don't hurt yourself. Have a slow build up to that point. Once we're all stretched out here, go ahead and relax those arms, hands down at your sides. Next one we're going into is the step over side lunge. So, stepping over and across this time, getting that outside side lunge, just like that, switching sides each time. Now, if this is confusing to you, I would say the same leg does all the work on this one. So, same leg comes across, same leg comes out, same leg bends, just like that. So, alternating sides once again. One leg does all the work each rep. These step over side lunges. Go ahead and squeeze a couple more of those in. And relax. Awesome. I'm going to get a heart rate up with this next one. We're going to get started on some butt kicks. Should look something like this. Get into a nice rolling jog. Flick those heels back. At this point, get that heart rate elevated now for some jump ropes today. All right, shooting for about 30, 25 seconds on these butt kicks. Like I said, just getting warmed up here. Couple more of those in and relax. Awesome. So, moving back into our shoulders. Gonna do some arm circles. Just gonna do one round of it. Gonna start with our palms face upward. Drawing spirals with those hands. Bigger and bigger with each round. Should be reaching full range of motion. Couple full rounds in there and then relax down at your side. Next one, we're gonna go for some straight leg marches. We need to target those hamstrings. So, taking our opposite hand to that opposite foot, kicking straight out. Don't let that leg bend. Alternating as always. Make sure you get both sides evenly. Side view. Good. 
Go ahead and throw one more of those. Go ahead and relax after that. Gonna do one more arm stretch here today for some field goals. So, hands out 90-90, 90, 90, 90 the shoulders, 90 the elbows. Just like this. Go ahead and pinch those shoulder blades behind your back. Maintain that tension, rotate those hands on down parallel to the floor. Push those elbows back. Hold that tension with those elbows back. Relax the tension. Hands back up to starting position. We're gonna go through that up one more time. Go ahead, pinch those shoulder blades back. Rotate those hands on down parallel to the floor. Push those elbows back. Maintain that tension. And relax. That concludes the warm up portion of this video. So go ahead and get a drink of water really quick. And then we're just gonna get right into this thing. So, first things first, obviously, gonna be the jump rope. We're gonna start out with a minute on the jump rope. Make sure you have your jump rope ready. I've got mine. Right after that, we're gonna go for a push squat with the body bar. So, push squat on the body bar. Let me give you an example of that. So, hands at a comfortable grip, just like this, knuckles facing out. Normal squat position with my feet out, a little more than shoulder width apart, feet pointed out. As I come down for the squat, my hands come out. Give you a side view. This is an example of the push squat. Great thing about this one, helps with the lower back for people who get a little bit of a snap down there at the bottom. Gonna start with that push squat. Next one we're going to do after that, gonna do an incline push up. You can do a regular push up. You can put your hands on a set of dumbbells if you wanna help your wrists, if you have any of those pains. I'm gonna go ahead and go for these with my feet up. Standard push up. body add a bit of a decline right there hopefully y'all can see that good right after that one I'm gonna go back into another minute on the jump rope then we're gonna go straight into a body bar walking lunge so we'll put the bar on our back just like this lined up this is a walking lunge so you will take a step do a lunge take another step do a lunge and so on and so forth. Turn around once you get to the end. If you have a wall or anything like that, of course. After the lunge, we're gonna go for one that we are calling a good morning. So, keeping the bar on our back, hands comfortably placed. Nice little about hip or shoulder width with the feet placement. And you're gonna have a slight knee bend. And you're just gonna hinge at the hips all the way until that back reaches a flat point. Then you're just going to push your hips forward, just like that. So slight knee bend, leaning forward to a flat back, push the hips forward, just like that. So that's going to be the good morning. Finally, we're going to finish it off with a third and final round on the jump rope. So we're going to do the jump rope, two resistance exercises, jump rope, two resistance exercises, and on the jump rope, after that I'll have another segment to go through. So once you're ready, maybe another quick drink of water if you need one. Otherwise, we're gonna get started on that jump rope. Get my timer started. All right. Getting ready to start this first round in three, two, one, go. Just a basic jump rope on this first round. If you get tripped up like I just did, just get right back on the saddle. Oopsies. Recommend getting a longer jump rope if you have issues with the catching on your feet. We're gonna go for a full minute round on this first one, full minute.
Go ahead and set that jump rope down. A couple of seconds as we move into that push squat. Pick up your body bar if you need it. If not, dumbbell also works. So with kettlebell. Once you're ready, you're gonna be starting this push squat in three, two, one, go. Just have to go down to that 90-90 point. No, no need to go any deeper. Only going for 35 seconds on this one. Almost done in three, two, one, stop. Next one after this, gonna be going into that Incline, decline, push up. You can get your feet up on a chair, up on a stand of any kind. Or, like I said, you can have those dumbbells on your hands to protect those wrists. Once you're in position, you're going to be starting this incline push up in three, two, one, go. Pace yourselves on this one. Halfway done. In three, two, one, stop. Transitioning back into a jump rope. Pick those jump ropes up. Another 50 seconds to a minute on this one, starting in three, two, one, go. Almost done with this round. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Stop on that jump rope. Next one we're going into is that walking lunge with the body bar. Again, you can substitute that weight for a kettlebell at this time or a dumbbell. Couple seconds, catch your breath. About to start on the walking lunge. We're gonna be starting this one here in three, two, one, go. Try not to let that back knee touch the ground. Try to put all your weight on that forward leg. Turning back around just to still have time. Finishing this one in three, two, one, stop. Done on those lunges. Next one we're moving into it's the one called Good Morning. Gonna have the weight on our back if you can. One more round of jump rope after this one, then we'll get a break. Starting this one in three, two, one, go. Feet close together, slight knee bend. Pushing backwards at the hips. So you get tabletop, push those hips forward. Good. Control that weight on the way down. Keep
keep those knees fixed at that slight bend position. Keep that weight comfortably positioned on your shoulders. Going down nice and slow until I reach that point and pushing up. There we go. Finishing this one in three, two, one, stop. Next one, we're going back into that jump rope for one more round before we get a quick break here. So pick that jump rope up. About to get a break, about to get a break. Finish this last round up on the jump rope. Going for about a minute, 50 seconds again. Deep breath. Starting this one in three, two, one, go. Good work. Halfway done on this jump rope round. Halfway through the exercise today. One more round, about to walk us through. Jump rope is no joke. Make sure you're hydrating, drinking water. While you're doing that, I'm gonna walk us through this next set. All right, now, first one we're gonna do is we have a heavier bar. Could be the time to bring that out. We're gonna start this one with the jump rope first, like we did last round. After that, going into the military press. What this is gonna look like. Comfortable standing position. Just straight up, just like this. Watch my elbows in this one. It's the most important part. We don't want those elbows flared out. We want them tucked in, just like this. Outside view. That's going to be it on the military press. Going to need the bar for this one most likely. Could do a shoulder press with the dumbbells if you don't have this as an option. Next one after this one, going to go into a bit of a compound exercise here with a bit of a squat and push into the military press. So. Same hand position, palms are face out. This time, this time, legs coming wide apart for the squat. Slight knee bend and push, just like that. Arms down, slight knee bend and push. Arms down. So you're definitely gonna wanna go heavier on this one. After the military press and then the squat and press, we're gonna do another round on the jump rope. After that, we're going to lay on the ground, do some bicycles. This will be a little bit of a break for us, because I know the rest of these exercises can be a little challenging. Lying flat on the back, hands on the mat, table top the feet up just like this in the starting position. Just going to start pedaling a bicycle off your bike just like this. Try to get a decent range of motion on those knees. Don't just do this. Try to get a nice, big circle, extended reach on that one. After that one, we've got one more exercise here with the body bar. Going to do a bit of an overhead triceps extension on this one. So, coming just like this. Let me back up so y'all can see. On this grip, by the way, going knuckles face out just like this. 
elbows tucked in. I want to be squeezing my head like it's a melon. Bring the bar straight up. All side view. Just like that on that overhead extension, and then we'll finish it up with one more round of jump rope. So finish that break, pick up your jump rope. Getting started for a minute here on that count in three, two, one, go. Our first round of jump rope. Start strong and finish strong. Again, just like we did in the last round. Rounds of about a minute on the jump rope. Rounds of about 35 seconds on the resistance exercises. yourself. If you need a break, try to rest with that weight. Don't let that weight down. In three, two, one, stop. Keep that barbell or whatever you're using close by. Next one, I'm going to go into the squat press. Eight seconds to catch your breath. Starting this next one, squat with the military press. And three, two, one, go. Feet a little wider out. Squat, press. Arms down, squat, press. Make sure bending at the knees for this part is super important. Almost done. I know those shoulders are tired. Three, two, one, stop. Picking that jump rope back up. Drop that heavy weight. Moving into the jump rope next. Starting this one in three, Two, one, star. Good work, twenty seconds in. Remember to get a good ring. 
range of motion on those knees. Don't want to see anybody short chopping it like this. Long strides. Should be extending at the hip and the knee. Almost done. This is a short one. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, stop. Go ahead and get up. Pick that body bar up. One more resistance exercise, then one more round of jump rope, and we're done. Finish strong here. Starting this one in three, two, one, go. Squeeze that head. Knuckles facing out. Good work. One more round of jump rope after this. Almost done. Three, two, one. Uh, put that bar down. We're done with it. Pick up that jump rope for one more round, people. Going into this one pretty fast. We're running short on time. One deep breath. In three, two, one, go. Last round of jump rope. Finish strong. minutes we're gonna do a cool down stretch it out catch your breath really fast though while I'm taking us through some stretches get a quick drink of water but let's finish cooling down Go ahead, let yourself pull that knee all the way to the chest. 
while you're laying down. Keep pulling on the top of that knee. Next one we're going for, legs out just like this. Go ahead and reach between our legs. Touch the floor behind your heels. If you don't feel a stretch, bring your feet closer together. If uh, you do feel it, you can't reach the floor, widen those legs further apart so you can touch the floor just behind those heels. everybody enjoyed hope everybody got that same quality of workout I obviously just did and uh, we'll catch y'all next time